Lesson 7, Migrating Content. So to migrate a user's OneDrive, we simply select the users that we want to migrate. I'm going to select Alan, Alex, and Adele, and then I'm going to click on Migrate OneDrive. So for the migration options, this is how we tell the tool how do we want to handle file versions, how do we want to handle copying the content over to the target environment. So let's start with the versions. By default, the tool is going to bring over the latest version only. And the reasoning behind this is because, you know, when we're working on any document, like an office document, it's constantly auto-saving in the background. And every time it does an auto-save, it creates a new version of that file in the background. In most cases, users don't need those versions right away. And if we're trying to migrate, all those versions, it can add substantial amount of time to the content as we're copying it from the source over into the target. We can also bring over the latest version and the previous version up to a specific size, or we can bring over all the versions up to a specific size. Now, when we're first doing this, maybe we want to get all the content over there. And once we get that user cut over into the target, we can come back and run this task again and this time we can choose all the versions. Now, by default, the first time that we run this, obviously, the tool's gonna bring over all the content. But if I'm doing a Delta copy, maybe I wanna skip the target files if the same version exists or newer in the target environment. So I'm gonna click Next and move on to the Attribute Options. On this tab, this is where we tell the tool how do we want to handle the created or modified property of the message, as well as how do we want to handle permissions. By default, the tool is going to use the system account that was specified to populate the created by and modified property of the migrated content. But we can tell the tool to match it to the target user. I went in and modified your OneDrive. It's going to change the matching from Chris at source to Chris at target. For permissions, by default, we're not going to migrate over permissions. The tool is going to assume that this is the first time that it's ran. And sometimes you don't want to migrate permissions the first time you run it because permissions can change. We can tell the tool to update permissions for migrated content, or we can tell the tool to update permissions for all the content. And some of the differences here is that if I used our Essentials for Office 365 piece, then I can update permissions for content that I migrated with Essentials for Office 365, but not necessarily with the on-demand migration for OneDrive. Migrate permissions for the auto rerun task. If you look to the left-hand side here in this column, it's grayed out right now, but it says auto rerun. And I'm gonna to get to explaining what that task does when we get to it, but this just adds permissions to that rerun task. So anything that's changed permissions-wise, it's gonna bring this over. We can also convert sharing links to direct permissions. It is going to convert shared links for files or folders in the source tenant to direct permissions in the target tenant. So let's click Next. So for the licensing plan tab, the settings here really are, are much like the migrating mailboxes, where the default is that the tool assumes the object doesn't have a license. So we need to tell the tool what license do we need to assign to it. And when I click the pull down menu, it pulls what licenses are available. So I'm going to assign the E5, but you can assign other ones depending on what that target tenant has. And then the default behavior is that if it sees that there's objects in here, that have a license, then it's going to leave that license alone and continue on to the next. If it sees that the object does not have a license, it's going to assign the E5 and then enable the OneDrive feature of that license. We can also tell the tool, I don't care what licenses are assigned to the current objects, I just want to assign everybody that I've selected the E5 plan that I've selected from this pull-down list. If you've gone through ahead of time, assigned everybody the proper licensing and features, we can uncheck this box right up top where it says set license to the target and the tool's gonna skip that part. So let's check this and I'm going to assign an E5 license and I'm just gonna leave the default setting here. So I'm gonna click on next for items to exclude. While we're copying objects, we have the choice to exclude certain objects and 
what we want to exclude really depends on what you want to copy. Uh, we can exclude by specific folders. So if I don't want to copy over somebody's music folder or video folder, I can just type that in and the tool is going to exclude that. We can also exclude on file type, exclude files created or modified before or after, and then on file sizes in megabytes. So let's move on to the schedule. Now the schedule tab, very familiar. By default, it's going to run the moment I click on finish. I can queue this up to run it manually later. If I want to avoid some of the throttling that Microsoft puts down during the day hours, I can schedule this to run in the after hours. So let's schedule it to do this at 7 p.m. Now, well, I chose 8 p.m. And this is 8 p.m. Eastern time. So the time frame that Microsoft will throttle you is for that default tenant or the locale of that tenant. So if my tenant's on the East Coast time and I happen to be sitting in San Diego, California doing this and I punch in 8 p.m., then it's going to take off at 8 p.m. Eastern time, not 8 p.m. Pacific time. So let's move on to the auto rerun. So with the auto rerun task, the tool assumes that the users are still using their OneDrive when we're doing this initial copy job and users that might have a large amount of items in their OneDrive could still be using it while the tool's copying the content from the source tenant into the target tenant. So there's changes that are going to happen. And what this auto rerun will do is once the tool has finished the initial copy job, it's going to go through one more time automatically and copy over any changes that have been made over to the target. And if you checked that box earlier to migrate the permissions when this auto rerun task runs, it's going to bring over any changes there as well. So moving on to the summary, the summary tab is going to just give you a quick summary of all the options that you've selected for this OneDrive migration task. So I'll click on finish. And this little drop-down ribbon is just letting me know that the task has been scheduled. And if I want to view the details, I just click on the Tasks tab. And that concludes this video's demonstration. Thank you for taking the time to watch.